Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Lucky Corners in the Soviet Republic, where um, it's time to build a central grain storage depot thingy and uh, allow, allow for distribution of everything here. And that's going to take um, up, that's going to take up a bit of space, right, based on the experimentation from last time. Uh, so I'm going to need uh, some level space. We're going to do this over here at Resource Central, right? Uh, so I'm going to need to um, or we could be doing it at well, however you say that one. Uh, right. Anyway, uh, got a big open space here and I think this is going to be the right place to do it. But first, I'm going to get a look at the ground and I'm going to level it right and this is going to cost um, I don't know lots of rubles right um, yeah um, so if we do this Yeah, so uh, leveling it out means that uh, we won't have any issues with the uh, connectors between the buildings, right? Or placing buildings. Uh, so that's the point here. Uh, and with a couple hundred million rubles and lots coming in, I can afford to, you know, do a heavy amount of terrain editing here. Right, so that's a large amount of leveled ground. Uh, I'm going to come a little bit further down here with the artificial plateau, right? Uh, by doing this, I'll have lots, lots of space to put everything. And the uh, game engine here uh, seems to like level stuff a lot better than uh, the stuff that's just uh, uh, all over the map, right? Uh, okay, so we've got a large amount of um, operation here. Now... I'm going to I'm going to keep this track specific for this stuff over here um, and for anything I stick down here uh, so I'm going to put a uh, separate access track um, maybe coming off of here the problem with the uh, Soviet Republic is that we don't have double slip switches right so and uh, multi-way three-way switches and stuff so it's harder to build some of the stuff that would be uh, useful um, right anyway uh, the first thing I, I need to do is put in a train station a big one right so that's going to be over here for cargo that one no that one Yeah, I think that one. Now, if I put this one, I don't know, here, right? If I put it here, this has five tracks and lots of factory connections, right? So, yeah, if I put it here, then I can go for uh, grain storage, right? The big grain storage thing with no rail line attached to it, right? Uh, okay, so that's this one. Yeah, I think that's this one. So I can go ahead and I can put one, I don't know, here.
yeah, I could put it here. Yeah, here. Okay. So, one. Uh, oh, I've got build with rubles turned on. Okay. And... Okay, I can build one here. Why don't I turn off build with rubles? Yeah. Uh, now I flip this. No, 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 no. Uh, this is the roadside. Okay. Uh, no, I want to uh, grab this, but I need to have the road facing the uh, entry point here. Uh-huh. Oh. Okay. So if I put it here... Yeah. Okay. So I can put one there. And I can put one here. Yeah, I think that's far enough apart. And I can put one here. All right. And I can put one here. Yeah, I think that far apart should be enough. Okay, there we go. And I can put one here. All right. And one more. Right there. Yeah. Okay, now let's see if I can put the roads in so that this all works. Oh, right. That needs to go away. And that needs to go away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, roads. Um, I'm going to need a... No, wait. Okay, so do that, and then we can do this, and bring this down, and these can do this, yeah. And I can do the same here, right? Yes. So I can get six of these on either side. So that's going to be a fair chunk of... Um, of um, uh, storage, right? Uh, right, so... I need a little bit more uh, space here that's relatively level to uh, put the uh, road connection in. Uh, I guess, yeah, so we can come across this way. 
This one can come through. Like that. Okay, do that. Do that. Do this. Yep. Okay. And this guy comes down like that. This guy comes down like that. And this guy goes up like... Let's try... Oh, no, 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 no. Like, back that up a little bit. This guy. Ah. Okay, where is it? Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. So that's going to be a road set up. Good. Now, um, let's, uh, let's build it. Okay. Now there's going to be a power shortage over here, probably. Um, but I'll sort, sort that out. Electricity problem. Um, train is waiting too long. Electricity problem over here. They don't need electricity. Um, right. No, that should be. Okay, right. Um, whatever. Uh, okay. Okay, so these have done thing Buildings without power supply. Okay. Um, oh, well, I can solve that. I can go ahead and put one of these in here. Yeah, that will cover everything over here. Yeah, it will. Because that one has power, right? Yeah, it does. Okay, so if I put it there, right, build it, yeah. Um, I think uh, an underground uh, connection is going to be enough for this one. Yeah. Yeah, so all of these guys now have power. So this will hold 66,000 tons. Okay, now let's pause it back up again. Now, I need one more thing over here, and that's a distribution office. I think, yeah. Uh, so that's going to be a, a rail distribution office, right? Uh, oh, that's going to be over here under here, right? 
Uh, terrain distribution, yeah. Um, and I think... I think I could put it here. No, that's too close. Okay. You could put it here. Really? No, I'm going to... I'm not going to put it there. I'm going to put it... Uh, a little further over, so there's more um, rail yard space here. Yeah, okay. Um, yep. Yeah. No, you were going to flatten some stuff first. Right. Okay, and a little bit more of this. Yep. Okay, so we've done that. And now, uh, train distribution. Okay. Put that back about here. Yeah, okay. I think that's that's going to be better. Uh, and I'm going to need a road to it. Right? Yeah, okay. Build that. Then over here, we will add a fuel distribution thing here. Okay, finish already. Okay. Um, no connections. Um, oh yeah, it's there. Good. So we'll put fuel in there. Now, uh, I need to also build the rail. Okay. You know what? I'm going to connect those like that. Yeah. And then this can come out to here. This can come out like that. And do this. And then this. And then this can come out like that. And then this can come out like that. Right. And then we can do this. Yeah. And then from here... Actually, no. I don't need to... Um, dual track that. No. No. Um, 
No. I just need to... get a rail connection down from up here. Yeah. Okay. Where am I going to get it down from? Oh, right. I need to build the tracks, not demolish them. So... No, use do the inside curve first. Yeah. Okay. Then the outside curve. Come on. Really? Okay, I suppose that could work. Actually, that could work. Will this connect down? It does. Ooh. No. Okay, so if I take this out... Right... I, why am I putting it in to go from both ways? Because at some point I think I'm going to need to. Okay, that can come down like that. This... Can it... Uh, can it do... No. Okay, I'm going to have to remove the uh, signal there. And the signal there. I think... Yeah. No. If I bring it up... No. So if I bring it down from the... First point I can connect to... Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Do that. <clears throat> and from here... Uh, can I connect onto here? No. Oh, that's amusing. Uh, right. So I guess from here, I come down onto here. Yeah, I think that'll work. Then if I need to, I should be able to get a through track in there, but I don't think I'll need to. Okay. So, so we get a chain signal back here. And a block signal back here, right? And a block signal there, and a chain signal there. Yeah, okay. Now, I can go ahead and build this this line which will come around like that All right and this This connection can come across like that. Right? Yep. <clears throat> then, I guess... Oh. No. Remove those guys. Yep. Um, okay, so that gets those. And 
and we can get yeah okay that'll work so this can come up here come on there we go nope Really? Interesting. Right. Okay. So we're going to have a chain. Chain there. Regular one here. Right. A regular one here and a chain here. Right. Yep. And a mixed signal here. And a mi Yeah, a mixed signal here. think that works no I think that's going to be a uh, deadlock eh no I'll figure it out um yeah okay I guess now uh well next next episode I think uh will be time to start uh bringing grain in and distributing it out again uh, that's going to take a little bit of uh, fiddling so i'm going to the the plan if um uh if i remember for next time is this um distribution office will take the grain from here and distribute it to where it's needed other distribution offices will bring the or other mechanisms will bring the grain into here uh, possibly with dedicated lines actually ultimately so uh, you know a few couple of long grain trains or something like that uh, where we'd be able to set several of them to wait until unloaded there uh, I don't think I'm necessarily gonna do that though um, you know, something that I can do here to prevent uh, gridlock in the station, actually, would be to bring this, the from the distributors, straight into here, one of these, and then have a one-way signal allowing it out, but not allowing in to these platforms. And I just remembered the uh, signals that are missing. Uh, yeah, okay. Right, so I could change it so that uh, one or two of these platforms can only exit this way and only enter this way. And that means that any uh, trains waiting to come into here could park in in a yard area that I construct over here which will require rejigging this intersection but uh, but I could do that right so I'm gonna you know, probably end up bending things around and yeah uh, it, it'd be uh, ugly anyway uh, the the idea being that uh, there there would be plenty of room to stack trains up right uh, in a yard and uh, yeah uh, I don't think that'll be necessary though because I think the burn rate is going to be high enough uh, compared to the production rate but hard to say uh, anyway uh, I'm going to put the cut here I do have a patreon if for some reason you want to support the channel the link will be in the description uh, if not well uh, you can ignore the link and won't cost you anything 
And of course, there's also the no cost options of liking and commenting and subscribing, you know, the usual thing. So, you know, do that if you want or don't. And uh, I guess see you back next time.